Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Centangle Teacher. And uh, surgery went well, I had a few complications, low sodium, very scary, but I'm back. So um, thanks for all the well wishes and prayers on my behalf, I appreciate it. Today's tangle is a way cool, different kind of tangle, it's one stroke tangle. Um, maybe we might call it a two-stroke tangle if we stretched it a little bit. It's called Wise by um, Jody. Oh, I'm sorry. It's printed so small I can't quite read it. I'll, I'll see if I can make it larger and put it on my video when I edit. Um, but it is, Wise is just fun. At first, I thought it was a, like, I looked at her drawing and I thought, oh, those are like hearts with tails. <laughs> and then I read the description and she says that they're Y-shaped, closed off at, um, on both sides. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we are going to do Y's. And let's get started. And... Here we are with <laughs> Wise. It, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a little cough. It's hard to kind of see on this. And I, I started another one on a little green one. But it's really fun. I'm going to do it on this bookmark because it is a real linear type tangle. One that you can just draw and draw and draw. You could do it on circles. Um, that I've water, you know, you can see I'm watercoloring, getting ready for the class on Friday, the watercolor background class. But I'm just going to do it on this bookmark. And you're going to see how simple, and I would call this a one stroke. Oh, I just picked up an O5 pen, and I, I marked my O1 with a little O ring so I could tell it. Uh, but so I've just done the background so. That I have a place that I'm going to do and I'm just going to do a Y shape so I'm going to start out and I'm going to come up and I'm going to follow my my watercolor area so there's you can see the Y but I just continue and you can kind of see why I thought it was hearts at first, but it's just a continuous Y shape, very bubbly, kind of Y. And I'm just using my the edge of my watercolor background to tell me where is a string, but I just go back and forth. So the Ys go um, different, you know, upside down and or laying on their side. It, it, you know, it just from one side to the other. And I just keep going with my Y's. And the crazier the shape, I think the better, you know, that you can, the more fun this wise is to do so you can just give it some really wild skinny shapes or you can make them a little fatter and I think that it's just a great little relaxing tangle And it's just that one stroke. Well, to begin with, we're going to go back and put in one other stroke. So I guess that would be called a two stroke tangle. But I'm just using that watercolor little background that I drew 
to kind of give it, give me a place to go. And now I'm going to come back and I'm going to curve off, look at the stem of your Y, the bottom of your Y, and just kind of, you know, cap it off. I'm just going to use my, again, my watercolor. Um, background to tell me about where to stop and I just go back and forth capping off you know that Y that I don't know what you call the bottom part of the Y And you know how I am about needing drama in my tangles? I I thought this was kind of a you know very plain type tangle, this not much drama, all the same. So um, here I went back in and I did some tangles inside the Y's, but I can also come in here and just give this Y in that Y intersection. I'm just going to give it some depth to make the Y look thicker. Like it's a little chunkier. Um, Y. So I'm just going to put some, a little rounding off in here to kind of thicken up. This Y and give it some more depth than what it normally has. But I'm just alternating back and forth, giving this a little bit of depth with some, you know, rounding off in that Y section. And you can see how just that alone gave it a little bit more um contrast then it it does by its just by itself so um and it really easily could be i could shade it a little bit more and you know, with using my terracotta pencil just give it you know maybe a little shading down in the stem of the Y. Let's see what that does when we blend it. I'm moistening my shading stump. And so I'm using two different mediums in one tangle. I use a watercolor and then I'm using a Prisma pencil. But you can see just how that even um, gives it a little bit more uh, depth in the tangle. Shading always helps your tangles. And you could shade with the, you know, with the watercolor, I mean with the Prismacolor and blend it with your odorless paint thinner. Or just give it some... Um, shading with a graphite pencil just to give it a little bit more. Some of the watercolor is a little darker, but that just gives it, you know, a little bit more 
oomph you could come back in also and um, give these little I mean just I I like to just give things maybe a little bit of texture up here with a few dots and um, and see what that does and even on the outside of here some orbs this could be a lot of fun to play with so have fun with wise by let's see if I can get my glasses off Jody mm -mm. Genevieve's I think um, CZT well it is I I should have made her name a little bit better bigger but it is a fun different tangle I hope you enjoy have a great day and thanks for stopping by my channel and um, we enjoy just tangling every day